Fellow St. Lucians, as we enter a new academic year, the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training presents an approach of renewed vigor, enthusiasm, confidence, and transformation. The upcoming academic year promises to be a fulfilling one, as the Ministry has laid the groundwork for a productive and successful period commencing Monday, September 5, 2022. The promise of the new school year is steeped in the experiences and lessons learned from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on our education system. In some measure, it can be said that the COVID-19 pandemic provided a silver lining for education, as it was the catalyst needed for pivoting our approach to instruction and learning. Navigating the rough tides associated with the harrowing experience and impact of the pandemic highlighted and demonstrated our resilience and ad adaptability as a system, as administrators, as teachers, as parents, and as students. As we transition to the normalcy of our pre-COVID existence, we will be including in our instruction and learning repertoire the knowledge and skills acquired over the past two years administrators, teachers, parents, and students, the integration of information and communication technology in education is here to stay. Therefore, as the Minister with Responsibility for Education, I give my firm commitment to ensuring that our schools, teachers, and students are provided with the training and are equipped with the resources needed for graduating digital citizens. The intent is to ensure that our students become competent and creative in the digital environment while practicing responsible use of technology. As a government, we remain resolute in our commitment towards pursuing a transformative education agenda and support the mantra that no student, no child will be left behind. Therefore, as promised, we continue the distribution of devices to our Form 1s, from twos and in select cases from free students. By mid-September, every secondary school child should be in possession of a learning device that will support the new approach of technology integration as outlined in our ICT in education policy. Primary schools will also benefit from over 2,000 devices and smart classrooms in the coming months as the ministry has invested heavily in transforming some of our traditional benches and desk and chalkboard classrooms into smart interactive spaces. During this school year, we will see greater prominence being placed on technical and vocational education and training, TVET, as we explore alternative pathways for our students. The year 2022-2023 has set the foundation for the transformation of four of our secondary schools, namely the PI Secondary, the Angers Secondary School, the Grand River Secondary School, and the John Odlum Secondary School into technical institutes. Investing in skills development is an investment in our students and in our country. We all know students learn differently, and it is our intention to meet them at their respective levels. The one-size-fits-all approach to educating our young people must not be allowed to continue for much longer. We must recognize their passions and talents and create spaces, centers of vocational excellence where they can have the opportunity to chase and fulfill their dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens, this academic year is one of transformation. We are poised to roll out a higher education agenda that sits well with our promise of one university graduate per household. As such, the government has secured approximately 150 university scholarships for students wishing to pursue higher education. We have also made available approximately 150 bursaries to students wishing to pursue studies at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. There are quite a few other initiatives that will make the school year stand out and give our students added reasons to remain in school and excel. These include the introduction of the Mandarin pilot program in two of our secondary schools, alongside continued efforts towards the eventual inclusion of the Creole language and black history teachings in the education system. Secondly, despite the many challenges encountered, the provision of welfare support systems and psychosocial services for our students 
signal an earnest effort on the part of the Ministry of Education to continue assisting parents. We recognize that our children require more than just academic assistance and of equal importance, emphasis must be placed on holistic wellness support. Testimony to the government's commitment to our students, parents, and system is the continued payment of facilities fees for every single child in the public and primary schools of our country, relieving parents of this financial burden. Our Form 1 students have a lot to look forward to. There has never been a better time to be a Form 1 student in St. Lucia. This cohort of Form 1 students have received a $500 bursary. Facilities fees have been paid for them. Transportation organized to safely take them to and from their homes. And to crown it off, every single child in Form 1 receives a brand new laptop computer, compliments the government. No other group of first formers have had it better. Incoming Form 1 students have never had it better. Our Form 1s are well set to succeed as they enter the hallowed walls of their new schools. Our school feeding program continues, and to remedy yet another difficulty faced by parents, the ministry has increased the number of students on the transportation subsidy. All these interventions augur well for student success. On this, the eve of the new school year, I take the opportunity to thank our valued stakeholders. These include the St. Lucia Teachers Union, the National Principals Association, the National Youth Council, the National Council for Persons with Disabilities, the student, National Student Council, the Ministry of Health, the police, school boards, teachers, principals, and notably our ancillary staff, who have all played a pivotal role in our school reopening preparations. The Ministry of Education sincerely appreciates your efforts as you work towards ensuring a smooth and safe return to the classroom. It is through consultations with you that we are able to overcome some of the usual challenges which play out every school year. This year, global supply chain issues affected the timeliness of our furniture delivery. However, I am pleased to announce that with the exception of one school on island, our students will be back in the classroom five days a week. The changes to the COVID-19 protocols mean that we will witness a number of our large group activities making a return to the academic calendar. This will include inter-secondary school sports and the National Schools Science and Technology Fair. Hence, we can all look forward to a school year with a familiar feel, but with a bold and transformative agenda. At this juncture, the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training expresses gratitude to school leaders and teachers for their unwavering commitment to all our students at all levels of the education system. The teaching profession has become increasingly challenging in an ever-evolving technological environment, yet our teachers continue to play an invaluable role in nation building. I applaud our teachers for first accepting the training offered to enhance delivery through the use of technology, and secondly, for the passion exhibited towards elevating and empowering our students to unlock their full potential. Thank you for once again being flexible and supportive as we continue to embrace new approaches to meet the needs of our students while providing them with the best educational experience. In a show of support for the teachers of our country, the Ministry of Education is planning to roll out in the first term a teacher appreciation initiative dubbed PRESENT, P-R-E-S-E-N-T, the acronym for proudly representing its school to exalt the nation's teachers. The intention is that for two days in the month of October, all public and private sector employees, as well as the wider public, will be encouraged to wear the uniform of their alma mater at the workplace in an expression of gratitude to the nation's teachers for the commitment and dedication displayed during the COVID era and before. To our parents, I wish to remind you that though the ministry may provide the necessary resources to ensure that the school environment is conducive for learning, the onus is on you to ensure that our students have a safe, stable and supportive home environment. 
We must all play our part in ensuring student success. Students, the Ministry of Education is committed to your holistic development. You are the future. Hence, we remain committed to your social, emotional, and academic needs. At the Ministry of Education, we will spend no effort in ensuring that your needs are met. However, you have a responsibility to yourself as your success is heavily dependent on your efforts. I implore you to give of your best at all times. Be kind to your peers, respectful to your teachers, and obedient to your parents. Help and care for each other. Make new friends, and do not be afraid to learn new but positive things. Be bold in pursuit of a better education, as we have been bold in pursuit of a better education system. Let us all work towards making 2022-2023 the best school year ever. Je vous donne l'occasion pour souhaiter tout ma maille, teacher, avec mettre l'école et mettre l'école en l'année que vous avez fait succès en système éducation. Le gouvernement n'a jamais été en place pour que nous baillons par an, ma maille l'école, teacher, mettre l'école et mettre l'école en environnement côté où vous avez travaillé ensemble en l'année ma maille l'école pays. Le gouvernement a dépensé un pile d'argent pour manger l'école qu'on nous paye. Le gouvernement a aussi dépensé l'argent pour acheter un laptop computer pour les mamans qui sont à l'école secondaire. Et c'est de voir nous en disant que mois de septembre, toutes les mamans de l'école secondaire en pays de Saint-Lucie ont un laptop qui a servi en éducation. Je voulais prendre l'occasion pour remercier tout le monde qui a travaillé et le ministre de l'éducation pour nous préparer pour l'année de l'école 9. Je voulais dire merci pour l'Union Teacher. Je vous remercie pour l'association Mette et Mette West L'école. Je vous remercie pour le ministre de la Santé, la police, la National Youth Council et puis tout le monde et puis l'organisation qui a travaillé et puis le ministre de l'Indication. Pour ces parents, je vous dis que le plus meilleur cadeau que vous avez à maman, c'est l'indication. Dépensez l'argent dans l'indication de maman. Parce que nous cherchons à nous tuer. That plus gros investment ou ça fait en la terre aujourd'hui, c'est en éducation mamayo. Éducation mamayo actuellement et puis en tant qu'il vient, n'est plus valé par ces pièces chotter ou qu'ils abayo, pièces gourkai ou qu'ils acquittent bayo et puis pièces bank account ou qu'ils acquittent bayo. Et c'est pour raison ça qu'un gouvernement nous capte toutes les démarches non pour point pour voir qui nous baille mamayo cette liste plus mais éducation nous abayo en pays non. Parce que nous ne pouvons pas seulement préparer ma mère à l'école pour les gens qui ont l'école pour travailler en cette liste. Mais quand nous avons dit en anglais, nous avons dit que ça nous avons créé Global Citizens. Je suis en pile confiance en la maître de l'école. Je suis en pile confiance en ce titre de l'école pays. Je suis en chai confiance dans la maître de l'école. Je suis en servi de ces barres et ces démarches que le gouvernement Japon pour mettre en place pour faire succès à l'école à l'année Sarah qui a commencé lundi le 5 septembre 2022. Merci tout le monde et je veux wish the entire education fraternity success as we commence a brand new school year 2022-2023. On behalf of the senior management personnel in the Ministry of Education in particular the parliamentary secretary Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper, the permanent secretary, deputy permanent secretary education officers, and ultimately on behalf of the Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Ministers, I wish everybody a successful and productive academic year. Thank you very much. <laughs>